So what is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel and in this video I'm going to be reacting to Kai Haito's drum cam of Ghost Love Score. Yes, of course, the wonderful Ghost Love Score by Nightwish is what started my Nightwish reaction journey and this is an absolute banger and I'm so so excited to be reacting to this and seeing the drums in isolation because of course there are so many meter changes the groove changes and it's just going to be really nice to see it in great isolation by Kai himself make sure to hit the like button hit the subscribe button and let me know in the comment section what was your favorite part of this particular drum cam and if you would like me to react to any other Kai Hato drum cams bang it in the comment section okay so this is taken from the metro arena in Espoo in Finland. Oh, these toms sound so fat. Nice to see that for the first time. He actually uses a double kick to integrate the beat. Such a clever beat as well. Oh, he's going open handed with the hi hats. I love that. It's really cool they got a foot cam as well. It's really well put together. Great sounding kit as well. I think it's a pearl kit. I think he's a yeah, I think he's a pearl player, yeah. Yeah, I love how that changes, by the way. Just the, the groove and the feel just changes straight away. I love it. That snare sounds killer, bite. Oh, I like the little ghost notes as well on the snare. Sounds killer. You actually, when you when you when you listen back now and you see it, how much double kick is actually in this tune? So you can see why a lot of open-handed hi hat work is in Nightwish songs. That was sweet. It's almost like a galloping rhythm. Yeah, it's like a, almost like a gallop. His use of the kit is spectacular, by the way. So good with his use of a kit. Lovely head of hair as well. What I love about his drumming is that he's so consistent. He's powerful as well without being too powerful, if that makes sense. He's not over the top with his power. Probably good to get a rest as well. It's probably quite intense playing this song, no doubt. But again, as I said, a lot of double kick, which I know is quite popular in the Nightwish songs. Nice little stick twirl, you naughty little boy. Look at that, look. Left hand. Check me out. Nice little double stroke roll on the hi-hat as well. Nice into the half time. Quite a heavy sound and ride symbol, but it's the music in it, suits it. I think he plays Minel. Pretty sure he plays Minel. Very dark sound and symbols as well, but they, again, they, they suit, percussively, they suit the music. 
love that China symbol. I always think a, shop, a, a China symbol sounds like a shopping trolley being pushed into the wall. Oh, where's he off to? Oh, he's got a little break, is he? Probably going right be bum sweat off the seat, no doubt. I'd be absolutely dripping after something like that. And I'm quite physically fit. But yeah, he's a great drummer. You can see the consistency in the playing. And this track, again, as I said, opened my eyes and ears to Nightwish for the first time when I first started the channel. So to see stuff in isolation is a, is a pleasure. I like that there's no dampening on the toms either. It's really just loud and thuddy. But I should imagine it doesn't sound like there's much overtone out, out front. But a general analysis so far is this has been great to watch. And without it being a proper recording, it's almost obviously filmed off cameras. It still sounds amazing. That's the sign of a good drum tech who can tune a kit well. The dramatic bit is now coming. Looking forward to this bit. Yeah, he's using Minor Byzans. That's what I use. He's got good taste, isn't he? So have I. Oh, yeah. We're going into 3 4 now. Or 6 8, whatever you want to call it. It's in beats of three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two. Love the meter changes in this. That means time changes for anybody that aren't drummers out there. Nice. Nice little sticking on the ride there, like that. Do you know what? His symbols make it sound so dramatic as well. His use of a kit is fantastic as well. A little bit of dampening on the snare, I think, which is which is understandable. Kills the overtone. Nice. The left hand usage there was spot on. Love it, mate. <laughs> God, he is some player. Oh, that was naughty. Nice build up. Keeps building. Yeah, bringing the double kick in now. That's all the kick is doing. It's just doing constant single stroke rolls and then he's just adding salt and pepper with his hands. Nice little fill. Oh, that China symbol. So good. Oh, we're back again. Full, full, uh, four beats in a bar now. Nice. Oh, I love that. That was wicked. That's so good. I'm definitely going to research what equipment he uses because it sounds amazing. His use of the open hand is wicked as well. So good. It is Pearl hardware, I think. Remo drum heads. Pearl drums. Minor cymbals. Pearl hardware. I think I pretty much got it. <laughs> Couldn't tell you what sticks, though. They're moving too fast. Probably answer my own question what equipment he uses. can hear the power now. Yeah, direct drive pedals as well. 
basically means there's no chain on it, so it's smoother. Yes, take it home. Oh, this is so good. This is so good, honestly. That was, oh my God, that drum fill. Definitely reacting to more of these. Again, just such a brilliant drum fill. Oh. My God. Wow. What a player. What a privilege that was. Please let me know more Kai Hato drum cams to react to. Take it away. Oh, God. Exactly what he said. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.